Marin County has some of the lowest childhood vaccination rates in California, with a 6.6% vaccination refusal rate compared to California's 2.6% refusal rate. Only last year, in April 2020, vaccinations for children decreased by more than 40% in the Bay Area. So who are these anti-vaxxers? Studies have shown that the anti-vaccination movement in Marin is a largely white and educated effort. This begged the question, why is such an educated community hesitant to adopt scientific standards and vaccinate their children? Would I call myself anti-vaxxer? No. Would I call myself anti-toxin? Yeah. Would I say that I'm opposed to man-made disease? Yes. I would say I'm pro-medical freedom and pro-choice and definitely pro-health. So my children have been vaccinated and now that I look back on it, it is the biggest regret I have of um, raising my children. So my daughter was vaccinated. She had some reactions and at one point she had a reaction that was pretty scary. She'd kind of be fine then she and I thought, that's it. I'm not going to do any more vaccines with my daughter. There is something about a parent feeling responsible for their children's health, welfare, and life that is irrational. And so they're attempting to exert as much agency as they possibly can. When there are children who are not vaccinated, that means that they are at risk for getting disease, but they're not only at risk for getting disease, they then are at risk for transmitting that, that disease to others. Uh, my daughter in college got HPV. The HPV has not been really shown to cause cancer. That vaccine, they make more money on that vaccine than any other vaccine. HPV is everywhere. And so people who are sexually active will be exposed to the virus. However, if a child, an adolescent, is vaccinated before exposure, it eliminates the risk of the virus causing cancer. I've heard nothing but terrible things about the HPV vaccine. Some people say it's probably the worst of them all in terms of outcomes and, uh, and the damage it's done. You want to make sure that whenever you're doing any medical intervention, that the intervention isn't worse than the disease you're trying to prevent. It's really important to think about the risk-benefit ratio. And the benefit of vaccines far outweighs any risk. There have been very robust scientific studies from all different vantage points, from different areas around the world, and none of them have ever given any credence to that thinking. The FDA is recognized as most stringent in the world um, in terms of safety testing. The safety and efficacy is always paramount. There is peer-reviewed articles, um, retrospective testing um, for looking at any adverse uh, reactions within the patients, and a wide uh, variety of um, both uh, ethnic groups as well as uh, uh, global uh, clinical trials are always uh, put into place. When a county like Marin, which is a relatively white and wealthy county, has a lower vaccination rate than other counties in the U.S., it's probably because there are highly educated uh, parents who have very specific points of view about good medicine and bad medicine. Their um, willingness to trust the expert is, is limited because they too feel like they could become experts. Food is medicine, and we have known that um, for years now. Uh, and taking the responsibility to care for yourself and your own health, the five pillars of health, eating well, exercising, getting proper sleep, getting out in the sun, in nature, these are all things that, that help the body to be well. And largely, if you're doing these things, disease won't happen to you. The people who choose not to vaccinate their kids, their kids, I never see them, they're healthy. And the other ones, they're, they're just falling like flies, autism, 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 autism. You know, they see them at birth and then at three, they're autistic. What's going on? I would very much encourage 
living a healthy lifestyle. But it's very clear that that's not enough. If, if that's all that it took uh, to protect against some of these deadly diseases, we, we, we really wouldn't have these pandemics. So it's a fallacy. Uh, with privilege and wealth, there is the loss of a feeling of responsibility for others in the community that, that are around us. It's a self-fulfilling because it becomes a cultural norm. You know, your friends aren't doing it, so you're not gonna do it. And, you know, it becomes reinforcing. I think on both sides of the coin, you just need to, to trust the science, uh, whether it's uh, distrust in government, uh, distrust in, you know, scientific community, or conspiracy. We're all people, we all have wants, needs, um, and uh, dreams. So we just need to get together and um, you know start to find some common ground. They, they just see these as shots. They don't really understand what these diseases are and how devastating they were. But when I can develop a relationship that's open enough that uh, can allow for conversation, I can talk about it. I can talk about my experiences when some of these vaccines didn't exist and what it looked like to see a family lose their child and have complications after having these infections. 